This is lesson four in the year seven topic body systems entitled The Skeleton. You can find information on pages 32, 33 of the Activate textbook. In this very short lesson, uh, you should be able to describe the structure of the skeletal system and describe the functions of the skeletal system. OK, so some of you will know uh, parts of the skeleton already. So we're just going to start off with, again, a little quick starter exercise. All I'd like you to do, if possible, is to look at the list of the names of some of the important bones in the skeleton and match them up with their positions in the body. So femur would go to A, B, C, D, E or F. So again, in the back of your exercise books or on scrap paper, write down femur, the list of parts here and match them up to the letters. So pause the video now and attempt that. OK, it doesn't matter if you got, uh, didn't get many of those. Um, hopefully, by the end of the lesson, you will know where they all are. So let's go through them together. So the femur, firstly, is E. That's your thigh bone. The skull, hopefully we all got that that was A. The pelvis, this part here is D. Tibula and fibula are F. Those are your lower leg bones. Uh, your ribs, again, hopefully, you'll have got that that is C. And the vertebrae are the small bones in your backbone. So that would be B. So well done if you got those. If not, just make sure that you know them by the end of the lesson. So that you've got a diagram, a label diagram of the skeleton correctly labelled, I'd like to download the attachment which I've put on Show My Homework so that you've got an equivalent diagram over here. Uh, you should be aware that there are about 206 bones in the adult body and that the bone itself from which the skeleton is made is made uh, of calcium and it contains a spongy layer but also something called marrow here. Now that marrow is responsible for making blood cells. Could you pause the video, download and stick that diagram into your exercise books now, please? OK, underneath or down by the side of your diagram, then, could you please add the functions to the different parts of the skeleton? So first off, there are four main functions that the skeleton has. Firstly, it protects our vital organs. For example, the skull protects our brains and our ribs protects our lungs and our hearts. It supports the body, it allows us to stay upright, for example. It helps the body to move. And as mentioned a few moments ago, um, the bone, the marrow in, within the bone actually makes blood cells, which help carry oxygen around the body and fight off disease. Could you please make sure that you pause the video and you've got that in your notes? OK, to conclude in this very short lesson, then um, you should be able to label the important parts on the diagram of a skeleton. The early diagram we saw right at the start is the minimum you need to know and state the four functions of the skeleton.